to say hi. Say hi, Dad. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome to today's vlog. It is Thursday the 21st of March and we are at the Wells Centre in Clayton and I'm just about to start today's vlog. So we're about to go in and meet Bev, who's um, been mates with Bev for about, I'd say about, well Sarah's been mates with her since she was a kid. So over 30 years i've known bev for about 12 years so we're gonna go in and see her and start today's vlog um aurora's with us vanellope's in nursery the weather's crap but what's new in manchester say hello beverly yep and i'll um, <laughs> i'll sort it for you no problem come on you've got to say hello to everybody there's something, there's no. something one minute no. one minute no all right you've got my number anyway you're gonna say hello now bev Cheers, Mark. Just say Come hi on. to everybody and then I won't ask you again. Hi. No, you've got to look at him because that's hi, ignorant. Everybody. You've got to look into the camera and say, Hello. Hi, everybody. Hello. Bye. Hi. <laughs> Tell her, babe, to say hi. Say hi, babe. Oh, thank you. <laughs> she just comes in, just doesn't even talk to us. Anyway, this is the Well Centre. This is where we come for our um, daily chats. <laughs> daily catch ups. And our feasts. And our feasts, like yeah. Because this is like the best cafe in the world. If you <coughs> ever come past like, this end of Clayton, definitely go in the Well Centre because you've got to have their cake and custard. It is the best. <laughs> and the curry and rice. That's really nice. <coughs> Anyway, got my princess there, I'm going to go and change her because she decided to poo and then we're going to go and pick some stuff up for Chelsea. Are you going to say hello to everybody? Because you're not shy, are you? You're a vlogger, aren't you? Yes. Tell her. Tell Bev. You need to give her some vlogging tips. Tell her. You just smile. Yes. Yes. 346 minutes later. Okay guys, so... I've been home for a little while now. I was breastfeeding the baby, so I just chilled out with her for a little bit, obviously because Penelope's not here, so it's like a bit of chill time for me and Aurora. But fortunately, David's just had to go and pick Penelope up because she's not feeling too well. She keeps saying she's got a headache and she's got a bit of a tummy ache, but she was actually up last night, coughing all night. So I'm not too sure whether she's starting to get the flu or picked up a bit of a bug, I'm not too sure. Can you turn that down, Portia? Because I actually feel like I'm going deaf. So I'm just sat watching Riverdale with Portia. They're home from school now. Obviously, you can't with that. So, Oscars, where do you think Oscar is? Oscar's on Fortnite. What have you done in school today? Um, ma mass. Sorry to interrupt, Dr. Farmer. Assemble the mask. English. Swimming. And that's it. How was she swimming today? Good. What did you learn? It's normal. Later that same evening. All right, guys, I'm back over at the uh, the studio now. I've not been feeling good today. I've got a stuffy nose again and a sore throat. Um, I seem to get rid of this cold and then it comes back. So, <clears throat> excuse me. You can hear it. It's uh, it's not good at all. So again. I'm not going to go into the uh, the studio because it's just really loud. We've literally got every printer running in there now, so it's really loud. But it was fantastic to see Bev today. She's uh, she's bearing up well, all things considering, because it's the most traumatic thing that you can ever think of losing a child. But Bev, um, Bev's Bev's always been um, cool with me anyway. I, I think she's she's a great woman, um, and she's. Um, yeah, it was, it was just great to see her. I've not really got that many words because um, I'm still kind of um, in shock by it all. And, you know, as you can imagine, I don't really need to see this, but so is Bev. Bev? Bev? Bev. So, um, Sarah's at home. She's, um, she's finished Imogen's room, I think. So you can, um, in fact, um, I don't know if she has, so we'll, we'll find out if she has. And then I'm just about to finish up here. I'm normally here for about three hours, but today seems to have done it in about an hour and a half. So I'm getting on top of things now. Um, I'm getting into a bit of a routine, a bit of a rhythm with myself. I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel as well, finally. 
because that tunnel was long and dark and it took a while to get out of it but it's um it's starting to look like i'm getting out of the tunnel so um the orders that i've got left now are literally big orders they're massive so it's like the um <clears throat> it's like the the big um aliens guns it's the flamethrower it's the star trek rifle so these take quite a long time to get done but when they go out you reap the rewards and i'm still on like a curfew with paypal so I am not actually earning any money until the 30th of April when they release all the money. Until now I've got to send the items out once it's been delivered and it's been signed for then they'll release the money. So it's it's difficult because um, I'm constantly like, I need supplies and stuff like that. I'm running out of bubble wrap now. I have to get some more of that. Just ordered some more PLA, PLA. I had three PLAs coming today. And then um, I've also got another printer coming tomorrow. Another Ender 2 is arriving tomorrow. Um, which is fantastic. Um, really, really, really pleased that I'm getting another Ender 2. Small printer, but it's got a big build size. I'm also going to contact the guy that I know from Amazon, um, who um, sorts me out with some of the printers. I'm really after a Delta printer, which is a, it's a weird printer. The best way to be, for me to explain it is to show it, because I know everybody likes to see the printers, and those that don't, tough shit, basically. As I've said before, my channel, I'll involve that part of it, which is the 3D printing, but um, I'm going to contact him tomorrow to see if he can get me a Delta printer. If he can get me a Delta printer, fingers crossed, we'll be able to show it if he does. If not, I'll have to wait, um, sort out all my, um, my debts, holiday, stuff like that that I've got to pay for, um, and yeah, and then I'll get a Delta printer, which is um, what I'm aiming for. Prints really tall things, really, really tall things. So. I feel absolutely wasted. I'm gonna knit Tesco now, I'm gonna get some sugar. Um, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna have a nice hot drink. I'm gonna sit down with Sarah, I'm gonna end today's vlog. But before that, we're gonna check in and we're gonna see if Sarah has indeed finished Jean's room. Meanwhile, back in the lowlands. So I thought I'd carry on from where I left before. I turned the camera off because Vanellope came in from nursery and she was really upset. So she ended up lying on me and going to sleep for a little bit because her head was real sore so we gave her some medicine she lay in there she went to sleep and then she woke up about half an hour later and she felt fine obviously she's not better but the medicine had kicked in because that norofen is like magic medicine magic water yeah so once we gave her that and she had a bit of a rest she was fine then she was back to the fridge wanting lollies and whatever else like she always does i don't know how she does it she goes to nursery and nursery say that she never stops eating and then she comes home and asks for more stuff like she's not been fed yeah but she does eat fruit a lot of fruit now don't she yeah she does she's always had a lot of fruit she loves Some the fruit veg. and she loves the veg um she's really good with that and salad yeah yeah so in fact she's been asking for salad hasn't she yeah. Um, she's been eating mine like we've had salad near enough every single night. Yeah. Are you feeding in my Pringles? Hey Pringle, you can't when you've got salad or uh, veg, she's, she's there. Yeah, she's the worst when you've got like sweet corn and she picks like each... And cold floor. Yeah, each piece of sweet corn or carrots, she loves carrots. And yeah, coleslaw, she's obsessed with coleslaw. She would literally eat like a full carton of coleslaw to herself. She was like, more, more. Do you know like when you watch um, Simpsons and he's eating the donuts and he's going more, more, more. That's what Danelope is like. And my battery's just started flashing. How fun. <laughs> so I managed to get a couple more pieces up in Imogen's room. I was going to show you, but I thought I'd not. Because I thought I'd show you tomorrow because then it will be finished. Well, that wall will be it finished. Does look good. Obviously, the room won't be finished, but the room, oh, sorry, the wall will be complete. And then we're not too sure what we're doing with the rest of the room yet because they need new wardrobes and drawers, but obviously, I'm not going to get them straight away. I've been looking for the flooring today, but the guy that's coming out to fit it wants me to get it in. In fact, I think his girlfriend or partner or wife, whichever it is, please. You can't tell me because no comments. But you can go on Facebook and tell me. <coughs> well, his missus watches the vlogs. So he's coming out to fit the flooring. But he wants us to get it in like 
five foot one. Sorry to say this, but a stupid size. So when I've been looking, they don't actually do the flooring because their bedroom measures like five meters almost. But you can't really get the flooring in a five meter. The the majority of the places only do it in a four meter. So we'd have to get it in four meter by a longer um, length and then piece it up on the end like it is now. That's how it was done last time. But if we could get it to the size that he wants it, like the five meter one, then we wouldn't need to piece it up and it'd just all be complete. So, excuse me, I've got wind. So if we can get it in the five meter, which I am still looking, there is a couple of places that do it in the five meter, but they're not doing it in the flooring that I want. So it must just be like um, certain floor designs that they actually do in the five meter. So if I can, then I think we're gonna have to work off to four meter and get the longer length and then piece it up. I think that's the way it's just gonna have to be. Um, what else have I done today? Oh, I bought a bath for Chelsea's new baby and I actually bought um, a full bag of clothes off this lady where they're all brand new. They're like River Island, Next, Gap, um, Ralph Lauren and they've all still got the tags on and she only wanted like £60 for it. Now, it was like £550 worth of clothes, but she actually let me have him for 55 She actually had a cot that she said she'd throw in for free as well, but Chelsea's already picked a Moses basket that she wants. It was just like one of them small little wooden cots, you know, like you get the swinging ones as well. Um, so I was showing Chelsea, she said, no, I don't really want that. So I was going to get it um, for her to have at her dad's, but then, like, I'm not too keen on the brownie colours, even though it was free. Um, I think I prefer to just try and find a, like a white one that she could put at that. So obviously I was meant to be buying the baby's bugger, but she's decided her dad's buying the bugger. So I've said that I'll buy her like other little bits that she needs. So I'm going to show you the bath that I've bought and then we'll show you some of the stuff. I mean a few bits that are in there have I've been worn, but her baby's only five months old. So if you think about it they're still brand new because there's that much stuff there there's no way that you probably would have wore it more than once or twice so and it's a bargain because Chelsea hasn't got a lot of money and obviously we're all just trying to help her out and make sure she's got everything like the essentials anyway for when baby arrives my battery died <laughs> so I had to get a new battery I do apologize um, so yeah, so we've got like a big bag of clothes down here, can you see? So I'm not going to show you none of that tonight. I'll get it all out tomorrow, I might do that with Porsche and we can show you a couple of bits that are in there. Um, but I'll show you the bath towel that I've got. And this is actually brand, brand? Brand new. And um, Dave keeps laughing at me, he's winding the cat up now. And it's it still had its box and she only charged me four pound like you wouldn't never refuse a brand new bath for four pound would you i mean it must have been at least how much are them baths in mother care about 30 quid 20 quid yeah i think that one is about 30 quid isn't it or something mm. um so let me just show you this bath now quickly because it's really smart so this is the bath that we got i'm just waiting for it to focus properly um, but as you can see it came with its box and it doesn't even look like it's been used so I thought it was a bargain so that's why I went out and got it I couldn't have left that I mean I could have gone to Mothercare and paid like 20 30 pound for it but instead I paid four so and it won't even be used for that long to be fair will it because they don't even stay big enough far long enough to go in one of them baths I kind of feel like been um, Vanilla pear, keep saying vanilla pear. Aurora's gonna start growing out of her soon. She absolutely loves that and I don't want her to grow out of it. I mean, it will last until she's probably about one, I think. I should imagine it will. I'm trying to think what else I've done today. Obviously, we went to see Bev. You've seen Bev. Um, it was nice to catch up with Bev and just have a good old chat. You know, she's still managing to keep her spirits up and Dave still makes her laugh. So, 
it's all good and what else did i do today what else did i do today apart from a pile of washing i can't seem to keep up my washing the last couple of days don't know why in fact i am now well till morning um well i don't think i've done anything else apart from like clean up same old same old do the pots mop the floors hoover you know what we always do anyway i'm gonna go because dave's looking at me as he'd say god this vlog was meant to be like 10 minutes long now it's 20 minutes long because sarah's got hold of the camera <laughs> so anyway dave's gonna come and talk to you now moments later all right guys so we are going to end today's vlog i hope everybody's enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed seeing bev well the side of bev's head or the back of bev's head i don't know yet <laughs> because i haven't edited the vlog but um bev i know you're watching it was really good seeing you today and then um, we're going to try and get bev up and um, through the week hopefully we're we going to try and do a challenge with her yeah we'll try and do something with bev definitely in the next couple of weeks because um she was telling us that she's finding it hard to get out of the house and she's got like, she's got help with people trying to, um, you know, get her out of the house and everything and we thought we could try and help by getting her out of the house and bringing her up here to Mosley with the knuckle draggers so she could spend, um, spend, spend some time up here. Everybody's going to think I'm weird. Every time I get in front of the camera, pick me ears, pick me nose, rub me eyes. You did it all day. I know. Can't help it. You must be agitated. Yeah. Constantly agitated all the time, <laughs> but um, yeah, we are going to end today's vlog. Do not forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you're not already. Make sure you click the notification bell; it does nothing. Make sure you leave us a comment because you can't at the minute. And we will see you guys tomorrow because we do this every single day. Bye.